Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Stupendous Wave, and in this video we'll be talking about Star Wars Episode 7 and some new information that has come out via the toy descriptions, actually. Now, of course, these being toy descriptions, we're not sure the full validity of what has come out, but since the two stories kind of seem to coincide with each other and they seem to match fairly well we can assume that at least part of the information we're getting with these toy descriptions are real well not really descriptions really the read up on the back of the toys are real and legitimate now there are possible spoilers in this video for Star Wars Episode 7 there was some pretty big stuff that was revealed from what I am assuming to be the finale of Star Wars Episode 7. So if you don't want anything spoiled for you, go ahead and click away. Thank you for clicking on in the first place. So let's go ahead and begin. Now the first read up we actually got is on Finn. Now it's nothing really new or significant. It just explains that heroes come from unlikely places and that Finn, who was once a, once a stormtrooper for the First Order, is now a powerful member of the Resistance and a crucial member of it. Of course, hinting at the fact that he will become a Jedi. Of course, we see him wielding Luke's lightsaber in the Instagram TV spot. So nothing really new there. But the Ray read-up is actually really, really interesting and crazy, and I absolutely love it because it confirms something that I was hoping would happen, but I wasn't 100% sure it would. It talks about Ray once they're on that ice planet, which is which we'll talk about later, has a secret weapon on it. It says that she splits off from her group, which I'm assuming involves at least Han and Chewie and Finn, of course and that she enters a room with just a bunch of stormtroopers and knights of ren like a ton of them and then she proceeds to like basically fight them all and apparently hold her own according to this description but the very interesting part for this is the knights of ren for me because i wasn't sure if we would see any more knights of ren besides kylo ren now based off this description a lot of these ones a lot of these that she encounter are nowhere near as powerful as kylo ren because he's basically the main one. He's the one that we've been seeing. He's all over all the promotional art and all over posters, all over the toy stores. So I assume that these are nowhere near as powerful as him, but they're just kind of uh, lower levels, lower ranking. But it's still great that we'll get to see some Knights of Ren, and especially Rey fights some Knights of Ren. And what I think in my mind is, does that boast half of her? hers how powerful is that exactly is it able to forward off lightsaber attacks because that would definitely be really really cool I know there was another Instagram post for a choreographer from Star Wars Episode 7 and one of them looked like they were actually wielding a bow staff against a lightsaber so this might be from that specific scene we might not be seeing Rey fight Kylo Ren specifically in the film we could see her fighting another Knight of Ren or possibly a higher ranking Knight of Ren in the group of lower ranking ones and then of course stormtroopers who are armed with blasters so this scene is going to be simply fantastic I cannot wait I can't wait to see what Rey has up her sleeve and if one day she'll become a Jedi too because if she is as powerful with that bow staff, uh, powerful enough to take out a whole room of stormtroopers and knights of Ren with lightsabers, how powerful will she be with a lightsaber? Now, this isn't to say that she doesn't have some type of secret weapon with her at this point in time, like a lightsaber, although I find that to be a little out there. She very well could have a lightsaber in her possession, not the lightsaber, not the lightsaber that's Luke's because we see Finn with that later but possibly she constructed one of her own earlier on. Maybe there's more to Rey than exactly meets the eye, and I think that's very, very interesting, though unlikely. So now let's go ahead and move on to the huge spoiler, and that is what exactly is on these this ice planet that we have been seeing in the trailers, and that I assume w will be the location of the final battle in Star Wars Episode Seven. Now my friend did make a video on this as well, so if you got if you want to hear his opinions on it, I'll link it in the description down below. I really recommend you check it out. But basically it has been constructed into an ultimate weapon that is capable of destroying entire star systems, not just individual planets, and it is called the Star Killer affectionately, of course homaging the fact that Luke Skywalker was originally supposed to be Luke Starkiller and that of course we have a popular character from the Force Unleashed video games known as Starkiller. So this is really really interesting 
and I like the fact that it's basically built into the planet or it's said to be built into the planet and we see a lot of of the uh, final act or again what I'm assuming to be the final act taking place on this planet so I assume the rebels will be attacking it now what's interesting about this is with the first Star Wars movie they did a, a space assault on it and they were able to destroy the uh, Death Star that way but here it seems like they're doing more of a ground assault since it's actually built into the planet itself so I cannot wait for this I know that the Kylo Ren versus Finn battle take play takes place on this planet that they're on with the star killer on it and I assume that's why the rebels go there and we even say see in the Instagram trailer again a whole lot of people a whole lot of snow troopers we see General Hux the chrome trooper all lined up on the snow planet ready to go we see AT-ATs so the first order this is the first order stronghold maybe not the main base but I wouldn't be surprised if it was the main base but definitely one of them and a weapon capable of destroying entire star systems that's crazy we haven't even got a glimpse at this weapon yet but I'm sure it's going to be huge and fantastic so anyway, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. May the force be with you and have a great day.